So I got another one for you. Ooh. And that is there is a highest possible acceleration for an automobile. Mm. I don't know if you knew uh, that. I, uh, I did. I'd say. Uh, oh, you did know that. Okay. Yeah. But, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a Tesla in free fall. <laughs> isn't, isn't Tesla in free fall anyway? Is, 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 that not a, is that not a euphemism, Chuck? Tesla in free fall. <laughs> Tesla in free yeah, fall. Well, that's, yeah. that's kind of what I'm getting at. Uh-huh. <laughs> I thought you were. So you, what you're saying to me, Neil, is it's not if you use an internal combustion engine, it's not about horsepower and correct, torque, correct. or if you're using a, an electric motor, it's got nothing to do with those? Correct. Okay. So watch all what right. happens. So let me, let me lead you up to that. Mm. All right. So there's the car sitting there at the starting line. And what do you have to do to have the car accelerate? Well, you want to have the wheel made of rubber typically in contact with cement or mm -hmm. asphalt or yeah. whatever, okay? Yeah. And you want that wheel to propel the car. Right. Okay? Okay. And now you say to yourself, I want to accelerate even faster. So you, put, you press the pedal down even harder mm -hmm. right at a zero start. Okay? Yeah. We're talking about zero to 60 here, let's say. No, okay? I'm, with you. I'm with you. So now you say, I want to go even faster. There's a point where as you press down the pedal, the torque on the wheels right. will be so high that you'll skid out. Right. It will no yeah. longer be attached to the road. Burning rubber, baby. Okay. Yeah, so you, you, you've, oh. lost, you've lost control of you, the vehicle. Yeah, no, well, well you've, lost, you've lost the friction that moves you forward. Oh, okay. Because it's right. friction between yeah. the tire and the mm. road that yeah. moves you forward. Okay? So one way to improve the traction is to increase the force over those yeah. wheels. Okay. I don't know if you've ever seen these uh, entrepreneurial folks who have uh, pickup trucks. Uh, in the old days, they were all rear-wheel drive, but the mm -hmm. engine is in the front. So, yeah. what, so the weight over the front tires is way more than on the back tires. And they'd want to uh, equip them with a snowplow, and then you know they go by in the snowstorm and say, "Why well, me to, to you know plow, plow your you, parking lot? Plow, plow your parking lot?" And they pick up money on the spot. Okay, so. They, they will not have traction unless they do what? You know what they do? Well, um, I, normally they just have chains on the car. Oh, that helps. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> to get so they, they, okay. They're going to have to weight the back. Of the they car, have to so. weight the back. And, yeah. the, and there's an easy source of weight to do that with, and that's the snow. So they yeah. will shovel snow into the back of the truck, increase the downward force mm -hmm. on the drive wheels, which it, for yeah. in that model that I'm describing were the rear wheels. America went through rear wheel drive for most of you know, the 20th century of our right. cars. And so that increased the pressure there so that the wheels would not skid out. Okay? Okay, mm -hmm. so now, but wait. As you increase the weight, the energy to accelerate has to move more mass. Right. Working against your ability to accelerate. So you need more power to propel the car because you have more mass, more, or actually more weight pushing down on the car. Yes, but what to, in order to get the traction, you increase the weight. But right. what I'm saying is by increasing the weight, you have to then have a more powerful engine in right. order to make this happen. Okay. And they scale exactly together. Oh, that's my point. See, see now you can get and down oh. with force through right. air through airflow. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there in a moment. Uh, okay, get there in a moment. Okay, but I can tell you this: you're not having much of any downward air pressure starting no. from zero. No, right? you're not going to get it. Right, right. Yeah. You have to go much higher speeds for that to mm -hmm. really matter here. But there are some, at, at 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 race car speeds, they do matter. Right. Okay. But even from zero, it doesn't matter. You're not going to get it. zero. Is air is not helping. No. Them. Okay. Right. So, it, so to to Gary's point, when you have air pressing down by using an airfoil of some kind, the spoiler, right? Yeah. Which if right. you look at its cross section, it's an upside down airplane wing. Right. Okay? You can have air. You can have air intakes in the side of vehicles. 
You see, them there are other there's other aerodynamic yeah. elements that you can add. That's right. right. And it's, how how does the how how does the car look in a skirt? Okay, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But All then right. you have you have a, you have uh, vents that direct air underneath the body. Correct. So we have faster car. moving air going yeah. under the car that creates a net positive pressure down mm -hmm. of just air, and the spoiler in the back, depending on its angle, will also increase the pressure. So in that way, you increase the weight of the car without mm -hmm. increasing its mass. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. And that improves your traction. Okay. Wow. But what I'm saying is mm -hmm. that when you run the numbers on this, what you get is that the fastest you can accelerate forward is 1G. Wow. Okay. That's it. Okay. All right. You cannot accelerate with just normal friction between a, a, a tire and a road faster than the acceleration of gravity downward towards Earth. And when you run that calculation, you say, well, if you would just free fall, how long does it take to get to 60 miles an hour? It takes about three seconds. Free fall for a stone to reach 60 miles an hour. Okay. So horizontally, this mm -hmm. is playing out with the weight of the car and your ability to have the thing move forward without spinning the wheels. Right. So there are two ways to improve on this, All right? One of them is lace the tire with sticky gum, okay? <laughs> okay? Right. Or, mm -hmm. or more practically, you heat the tire. Mm-hmm. Heat yeah. the tire. Which they and do. Which they do. Yeah. Then the tire gets gummy. So okay. it sticks to the road. It well, they use different compounds, Neil, don't they? They use, I mean, think about the hot rod drag racing. Yes. They've got these tiny little bicycle wheels up front. Yep. Like t like T Rex arms. Yeah, for right? And right. then they've got these gigantic. <laughs> T Rex arms. They've got these gigantic <laughs> pieces of rubber <laughs> right at right. the monster truck slicks in the back. Yeah, correct. So and correct. that's that, and and, that gummy and, and, that gummy compound that they and, use. And, yeah. and, I, and so they probably you know you can spin it to heat heat it up to that, and it's mm. gummy, so it's sticking to the road. When you stick to the road, then you're not relying purely on friction. Yeah to move forward. In, in physics terms, the coefficient of friction is greater than one, okay? Right. And it, you can only achieve that. Oh, by the way, the coefficient of friction between rubber and, and, and roads is very high. It's like 0. 0.9, you know, 0. 0. 0.8, 0. 0.9, 0. 0.95. So rubber and roads are a, a match made in heaven, okay? Uh, and now you keep getting that up to one, then you'll accelerate forward at the downward acceleration of Earth's gravity. You cannot do higher than that unless it grips the road in some kind of gummy way, sticky way. Or, you, you know how to do it perfectly, you have um, gears on the road. Right. <laughs> okay. Then it's not friction at all. The, the, your t your teeth and your gears are pressing against something else that's embedded in the road. Guy, yeah. you can accelerate to any any rate you want. Yeah, at that point. So it's it's all a matter of whether you're only depending on friction or not. Wow. So you're not going to have a car accelerating at two seconds from zero to sixty uh, unless either it has something digging into the road, pockets of holes in the road, or there's a jet engine. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, electric cars. Or, there or are electric, electric cars. Engine. Neil, there are electric cars out there. Must be close to about two and a half, three seconds, not to sixty. Bikes certainly can. So what typically what's going on there is mm. that's on a particular track where the kind of tires they use are is actually uh, digging into the road. Okay, that, that's 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 what's happening there. So, but you'll see there's a convergence down around three seconds from mm. zero to sixty. And this this is the reason you're you're limited by uh, by Earth, basically, and the acceleration of gravity on Earth. If you're only relying on friction, but like I said, put a jet engine there or a rocket engine, and mm -hmm. then then you're not mm -hmm. relying on friction. This is the big issue with the land speed record. 
Are you allowed to have a rocket engine where there's thrust coming out the back? If that's the case, that's just a rocket going horizontally. Right. What, are you, what are you proving with that? They're not going to be popular in traffic, are they, Neil? Rocket cars. <laughs> I actually, did I tell you, I rode um, a Jay Leno's a jet car. Oh. I'm, I'm on no. one of his episodes of, well, uh, what, what do you call his episode? Um, Jay, Jay, Jay Leno's garage. garage. Yeah. yeah. Rouse. Once on C CNBC, I think it moved networks. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, so look at the one where it's his, it's his he has a, a commercial jet engine in the back of his car that's powering the drivetrain. There was there was once a British wow. guy took the engine out of a World War II Spitfire plane, right? Which would have been a 24 liter Rolls-Royce Merlin engine and built a car around it and then would drag it down the autobahn <laughs> <laughs> just du duke it out with Ferraris and Porsches. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah, he'll win because he's not yeah. using normal yeah. friction. Exactly. Right, right, right. You'll leave the Ferrari in your dust or in your in your plume. It looked like one of those old-fashioned 1910 Bentleys. You know, okay. big open wheel. Right, going right. On. And everything round whiz. on it. Yeah. And That's so Jay Leno's right. car was street worthy. And he even had Ooh. like a stereo in it. I'm thinking, Really? Really? Yeah. I got How a jet engine that? right behind me. <laughs> it's a two-seater. The jet engine is like behind my head. Oh. And I'm wearing a helmet and he wants to hear Blue Danube. That's not yeah. happening. Yeah. Turn that up. That's my jam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. He wants to hear what was Enya. It? Enya's what was not the, getting through. What was <laughs> the, the heat like in, in strapped in to a rocket? That must have been ridiculous. Well, no. So it has a cooling system. So and it's oh. behind you. So oh, so that nice. was working fine. We were at Edwards Air Force Base, so they closed one of the tracks for us. And at something like 150 miles an hour, one of the windows blew out, and they caught that on slow motion. And and but the car could have gone faster. And I said, Jay, obviously I'm in the passenger seat. I said, Jay, why don't you take it up higher? And Chuck, you have to imitate him now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Neil. <laughs> Hey, it's a, he said, I don't hey, want to be known as the guy who killed the astrophysicist you know, Neil yeah, deGrasse Tyson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, people like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, man. So, wow. Yeah. That's so, so, you're, so you're actually limited by the acceleration of gravity. That's it. And how fast is it when you shoot a car into space? <laughs> oh, what yeah. is, you what want to is, shoot a Tesla Roadster into yeah, space? What, what, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the sky is the limit. Uh, well, no, relativity is the limit, but uh, there's nothing to stop any rate of acceleration in space. Oh, look um, at that. If cool. you have engines and if you have rocket engines, you're just how fast, you're, how good your engine works. That's all. Right. Nothing else is otherwise limiting you. But look up, the, look up the acceleration speeds. And if you find something significantly faster than three seconds at zero to 60, look carefully at what the conditions were of the track, the road, what kind of rubber they used. Right. And, uh, and, and, and and whether or not it was on rails. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's right, that's right. Rails, that's a whole other thing. Yeah. Uh, a whole, that's another conversation we're going to have. Like I said uh, in, a previous, uh, in a previous segment, if you're on a rail, then part of your train is actually moving backwards while you're moving forwards. So, wow. I'm, st I'm, I'm still I'm, trying I'm, to wrap like, my okay, head around that. The, really. Okay. Um, okay. We got it, we got, well, I can't wait to we'll do save that. that. Save that one. Chuck Gary, we're out of time. Oh. This has wow. been yet another explainer. And this has been a sports edition version of that. Love doing these. I hope you guys love them too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great time. Excellent. All right. Neil deGrasse Tyson here. As always, we keep working out. <laughs> <laughs>